So to, to show some flexibility, just to give you a, a simple idea, it might be a, a useless example of what to do, but um, uh, here I have a, uh, a preset, preset number one, and it has a, it's a step command. Uh, you now you could do this with IA switches, I'm just doing it with a preset for this simple example. So message number one tells me that I'm on step number one. Okay. Message number two, uh, which is the first command in step number one, is a set color to bright green. Okay. So in when we're in step one of the preset, we're bright green. Now I have a step command that tells me I'm about to program step number two. And step number two is a set color command uh, that uh, changes it to a bright cyan color. Then I have a third step command which is also a set color to white. I just did set color because it's visually easy for the, you to see what's going on. You could have any number of commands in a, a given step. I just have one simple set color command because that's something you can visually see. So pretty straightforward and then that's it. So there are three uh, steps and the steps are named uh, I left it the uh, defaults so it's step one is named step one, step two is named step two and, and so on. So let's get out of the menu system and you can see that I'm already on preset one so actually let's get off preset one. So here we're in a normal environment right? so I have preset number one, right now preset number two is active and preset number three. Okay and you can see the LCD shows that I'm on preset number two. Now we pro we program this so that when I press uh, preset number one, it has three steps. And the first step changes it, changes the actual button to green, and then cyan, then white. So I'm going to go ahead and press preset one. And a couple things happened. Uh, first, you'll notice that the button turned green and it turned green. I don't know if the camera is actually picking that up or not. Uh, it's perfectly clear uh, from here. And the preset name now says step number one and on the bottom it says step number one. For some reason it doesn't look like the camera can actually see that. That might be too bright in here. Okay so that's the button. That's what the button says. And then up on top it says preset number one and we're, it's telling us what step number on. So we have a preset with a step number one and the nickname for that step is by default step number one. You'll change it to whatever you want. So if we go ahead and hit preset one again, it's going to jump to preset two. Now it changed it to a nice uh, uh, baby blue. Again, I'm not sure the cameras actually can pick that up. It's crystal clear if you're staring at it. And now, the, now it tells you that you're on step number two and then up here it tells you that you're on preset number two and then if we go ahead and hit it again we had a third one that turned it white so now it's step number three and up on the top it tells you you're on step number three so there's a just visually a simple way to kind of get the idea of steps you might have control the dryness or wetness of your delay uh, all sorts of uses um, uh, in combination you might have a step that's triggering a different page uh, layout uh, mode, you know, whatever the special command is. Uh, you might hit it once to save uh, a preset and then go to the last page that you were on prior.